It's the one you've all been waiting for. It's time for the AliExpress haul! That was meant to have much more of an effect than it actually did have. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel, The Daily Wine. So as you just heard, from my incredible voiceover that I did in real life and then just edited the footage out of. Today we are doing an AliExpress haul. Now I've been waiting to do this for ages, but I didn't, I'll explain why afterwards. But before that, as you all know, it's time to try the one. It's time to try the one. So let's do that. So I still have to put myself a theme tune. Sorry, let's straighten up this camera a bit. Is it straight? Oh yeah, it is straight. I'm wonky, I think is the problem. And the whole stand is like this. So you can't actually say, ah. Upstairs, I've just decided to start hoovering, so that's incredible. <sighs> How you been, guys? I don't know why I say that. No one's ever gonna respond because the videos go up afterwards. I say it as if someone is meant to tell me right now how they've been. I'll never know. Oh my God, they're literally hoovering for so long. They do need a clean house, I suppose, but. Like, not over my bedroom, that way. Okay, so upstairs is still hoovering, but I don't have all day, I've got things to do. So let's just begin. So today, the wine that we're trying, it's come back with a vengeance, Mini Vino, but instead, a can. Now, if you remember, Mini Vino was one of my lowest rated wines that wasn't red. It was so gross. I thought I'd try this one though. In a can might be different. I don't know. It's a rosé fizz, it says. Uh, to be honest, I just bought it because the can is so cute. It's such a nice shade of pink. You can't even tell, but it's beautiful. So I just thought, let's just give it a go. It says on the back, bursting with red fruit flavors. This pink fizz is refreshing and delightfully juicy. I like them big. I like, oh, it's chunky, not juicy. Go is 10.5%, which is, <laughs> sorry, because the sun's come out, I've literally started living in, uh, 2020 TikTok, so everything I say today will probably be based around that. So, yeah, milk pop, zoo, 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 zoo. that's what I was thinking of. So, yeah, that's this is what we're trying today. Uh, obviously, I can't smell through the can because it's metal. Sm now, that either smells really good or not. It either smells like toffee or smells like something savory. My nose is blocked today, so I actually can't tell. Again, I'm a bit concerned because I really didn't like the mini vino I had before. However, I will not hold a grudge. As many of you who actually know me know, I am the least grudge holding person you'll ever meet. You could call me an angel. You're a liar! So yeah, let's give this a try. Cheers! There is something in this that tastes like sausages. Yeah, I'm getting like a definite sausagey flavour. However, if you know me, I like a sausage. So this is good. This is a vast improvement on what they made before. It's, it's again, ignore the fact that I'm, I'm getting a hint of sausage. Apart from that, it's sweet. It's a little bit fizzy, which I don't usually like, but it's not horrendously fizzy. Oh, like it numbs your tongue with its fizziness. But I, I do like it, I think. The smell, every time, like now my nose has come back a bit. Every time I drink it, the smell comes back a bit, which I'm not too keen on, because the, the smell is weird. But it's quite nice. You know when you're at a festival, and no one knows what they're talking about, everyone's chatting rubbish, and so you all just sound like, oh wow, this wine, amazing. I would pay a thousand pounds for this bottle of wine. It feels like you're doing that. Like you go like, oh yeah, that's well impressive. That This is the kind of wine I imagine to be drinking when I say stuff like that, so yeah. I don't mind it at all, I think. I don't know. This is glass of wine number three, so who knows what it tastes like. What would I rate it out of 10? Mmm, suspicious. I'm not actually drunk, but I'm in a bit of a funny mood. So I'm just trying to like not be as miserable. It's hard, because I am actually miserable, but I'm trying my best. What would I rate this out of 10? Probably, let's go. Let's go a six out of 10. I would drink this. If they gave this to me in a restaurant, I would drink it. I would love it if it was with lemonade, I think, because it is very, very fruity. 
Again, tastes a little bit like sausages, but I like sausages. I'd say it could probably like enhance its flavors a bit more because it, as of right now, I just like my teeth feel like they're gonna go numb from like the sugar or whatever's in it. So yeah, I don't mind it, but a six out of 10, I think, because the smell is off-putting and it's, it is very, very fizzy and it does taste like sausages which is bad if you're a normal person that drinks wine and not a carnivore like me. Next up team, we have what I have been waiting for, the AliExpress haul. I ordered some clothes a little while ago. My first thing I'll say, they all arrived so quickly. There's only one thing I'm still waiting on, which is a tennis skirt, unfortunately. I wanna say about five of the items that I ordered had arrived within a week of me ordering it, which is insane, because you hear AliExpress, you're like, oh, AliExpress, but no, I was so impressed with how quickly it shipped. And then, like I say, the rest of it came within the following weeks. But yeah, I'm very, very impressed. And I haven't got everything with me today. Unfortunately, I left some stuff at my, my nan and granddad's. So I haven't bought with me my one of my jumpers and the two pieces of jewelry that I ordered. But I'll put pictures up and everything here. Here we go. So the first item that I ordered was a stainless steel playboy necklace i'll put links to everything in the description by the way it came it is so sweet it's so nice it's absolutely beautiful it doesn't look cheap i've lost it actually there are the two jewelry pieces i don't actually know where they are but it is it is really good quality it's just as sparkly as it looks in the picture and it is absolutely lovely so yeah that was two pound 84 including shipping next thing i ordered was a uh, Femme Y2K top in lace. So I ordered a couple of cow print items because I'm literally loving the cow print so much. You have no idea, my heart can't take it. I love the cow print, it's so sweet. First one is this, little lacy cow print vest top. I just thought I'd get a couple of like, like little tiny tops. I thought maybe to put with like a polo neck for when it's cold to get like that e-girl soft glam look. This is really nice. It fits a little bit tight, but it looks so cute. I just can't be angry about it. It's, the quality is good. It does, uh, annoyingly, you know when like the color fades when it stretches, it does do that, which it does stretch a little bit because it's a bit tight, but not too shabby. I ordered a couple of sizes up, I will say that, which I think you should just do just to be safe. But this I really love. I think it's absolutely adorable. That was £6.19, including shipping. Next up, uh, I ordered... Now these are probably my favorite, favorite item on here. It's this gorgeous pair of elasticated sun and moon jogging bottoms. This is what they look like in real life. Oh my goodness me. They are so beautiful. They're so gorgeous. I couldn't believe the quality of the stuff that I was opening. I was like, like no joke, as good as Pretty Little Thing. Absolutely. They're velvet feel. They're the softest feeling things I've got inside. They're not, I want to wear these in the summer because I think these will be really cute summer. But you know when it's too warm for, a, uh, for trousers but too cold for a skirt? These will be perfect because they're not, they're not like really furry inside, which is one thing I don't mind, but sometimes it's just a bit much. Like I need to pair that on and I absolutely love these. They've got pockets, which I thought, because they're so cheap, they're not gonna have pockets, but they do. Uh, they do have pockets. I love them to pieces. This is my favorite item, different colored legs. They're black and white because so am I. I just love them. This is probably the item that I'm most impressed with, I think. And that was 12 pound 5p, including shipping. That was the most expensive thing I ordered. I spent like 80 quid, I think. I got so much, couldn't believe it. Like, gobsmacked. My mouth has been smacked. I don't think that's what it means. Next up, we have this really cute little crop top. So, where's it gone? It's kind of like milkmaidy. It's got a little bow on the front, looks like a little bra, but it's actually a vest top and it just supports both. The material, again, I, to be honest, the material for all of them, I can't fault. There's one that's a bit questionable but I can't fault any of them on the material because they're all great. It's just so sweet. I think that's gonna look so nice in the summer with like a nice flowery skirt or something. I love it, I really do. And it's so soft, it's super stretchy. So for my growing tartars, it's gonna be fine. I would say the shoulders are quite short though because it's stretchy, it like, it adjusts. That was £5.85 including shipping. Next up is the thing that hasn't arrived, which is this uh, white pleated tennis skirt. So I really love a tennis skirt. You can wear them with boots, you can wear them with heels. They're just the perfect accessory. So yeah, that's what I'm waiting on still. And that has been now a month and a half. But to be honest, I was expecting everything to take like two months to come anyway. So I am well impressed with everything else arriving quickly. I can excuse one item that cost me £2.35. 
£2.35, including shipping. Like, I can't complain, really. Next thing I ordered was this T-shirt. They're not T-shirts, sorry. They're actual shirts. So I bought... I don't know if you've seen it yet. You haven't seen it yet. I bought this really cute dog tooth, uh, like, vest jumper that's quite long that can be worn as, like, a dress, I guess, over a, a collared shirt. But um, I didn't have any. I only had my, like, summer beach shirt. So I was wearing it with that. I look ridiculous. So I ordered some actual shirts. So this first one is here and as you can see it's like really structured really like looks solid basically now it is flimsy it is just a normal material for some reason i expected it to come and be like starchy so that these shoulders would really stick out however it's very very nice style anyway i think it's really sweet even without it i think it is very very see-through so you definitely need to like if you're going somewhere special or like where you don't want to be embarrassed you'll probably need to wear something with it however who cares? Let everyone see your nips. It's 2021. Everyone has nipples. Get over it. But I do like it. And I do like it. It ties up around the back. I remember showing my nana this when it came and she's like, oh, that's really nice. Not one member in my family understood how it worked though. They were like, well, what do these bits do? And I was like, they just tie up. There's no, not everything has to have a reason. They literally just tie up around the back to look cute when I turn around. That's it. I ordered this shirt too. Where is it? Ah. So this shirt is actually just a plain shirt. It's got essentially little puffy sleeves, but I don't think, I wasn't really expecting anything from that shirt anyway. Probably a bit short for a dress, but you could wear it with like a, like a long blazer dress and that would look quite nice, I think. It'd be like, oh, I forgot my trousers. I don't think that's any good. Uh, sorry. Uh, so this is like what I'm dealing with today. My hair's just not in the, not in the game. Both of the shirts are very, like soft material they're not what i'd expect however they're so silky this one is so silky I again i expected it to be a bit more structured but i'm actually happy that this one isn't because it's so nice anyway without it and it makes it a bit less formal i guess this one was eight pound 40 the last one was nine pound 86 both of them including shipping oh my god next up i ordered this now i really wanted to try and wear like like they wear like a nice little stripy top with it with the white tennis skirt. I thought that would be such a lovely outfit. Obviously it hasn't arrived, but when it does, that is what I'll be wearing it with. Again, I think this one is actually okay for size. It stretches and you can't really tell that the material is being bent out of shape. It's got little like mesh patches on the front, but it is really, really sweet. A lovely summer top. And it's like, it reminds me of what you give to like your Barbie to dress her up in. I'm like, oh, I got a Barbie top. It comes with a little label and stuff as well, which says fashion sexy lounge yeah i've got a couple more things to explain that have arrived so i've got a pair of earrings that you can see in this picture they're just like little hoops they're like little snappy hoops with playboy on because i thought i want one to match my necklace and i was going to order stuff from the playboy line on misguided didn't bother just found all this stuff instead i was like wow it's so cute so yeah i don't know where they've gone they were also stunning quality like they look like they've been bought from an expensive jeweler they were so gorgeous. I've got a white Bratz jumper, like a sweatshirt. So it's completely white with a Bratz logo just across the chest, which is so beautiful as well. It's really good quality and it's so soft inside. And then the last item that I've bought that I've actually got with me is this Bratz jumper. Now this is looking a bit grim because I have been wearing it. Uh, but this is just like a beige version of the other one I've bought. But the other one is a sweatshirt. So it's like this and this one's hooded. So Oh my god, the comfiest, 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 period, hoodies I've ever worn. Absolutely love them. They're so nice. They're so lightweight. Like, you know when you put a hoodie on and you're like, so sticking to me and it's warm and stuff. It's like, it's not the vibe. This is absolutely the vibe. It's so, it's just like the perfect summer hoodie. So you never have to worry like, oh, I'm going to get a bit hot in that. You, you won't. Trust me. This is perfect. You're going to watch a football game at night. Wear this. You're going to a restaurant. Wear this. I really have no other scenarios for it, but these hoodies are adorable. I thought to myself, this Bratz is going to be absolutely a trend. I'm making it a trend. I'm stating it. I mean, I think it already is, to be fair. But I think it's going to be like a huge trend this year with like all the Bratz logo because it's so cute. So, yeah, I thought I'll grab a couple. So I bought one in beige hooded with pink writing, one in white uh, sweatshirt with that purple writing so yeah absolutely love these this beige one was how much was it 10 pounds 40 let me hear that's right including shipping the white one was 
£9.30 one including shipping which is absolutely amazing and i think that's everything my list isn't loading properly on aliexpress so like the clothes are good but the website experience is quite poor I, nothing is loading unfortunately but i think that's pretty much everything that i got i can't think of anything else so like i said only one item left to be delivered which is a tennis skirt which i'm a little bit gutted about but it'll come like i'm not stressed if it doesn't i'll order a new one it, what was it like four pounds oh no all of the items are great great quality i would say that this is probably the best value for money that you want to get it's and it, especially when most of it came within a week and a half like actually no i think all of it came within a week and a half the only thing i was missing is the skirt so yeah if you're wondering whether to buy from aliexpress do it now i would 100 100 million percent recommend going on aliexpress finding a load of stuff you like spending a nice bit of money once you get paid and order some clothes that you've wanted for a while because they're so sweet they're so good quality and they're so nice i am very happy with my haul i hope you've enjoyed watching my first haul with me i'll do more if you want me to or if you'd rather me do something else let me know have a lovely day stay safe and remember all for wine and wine for all peace it's time to try the wine it's time to try the wine what a harmony. It's time to try the one. It's time to try the one. Oh, no. Time to try the one. It's time to try the one. The talent that emanates from me, honestly, it's just.